Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will do the last sorting algorithm for your chapter sorting in class 12th NCRT computer science book. And this is the insertion sort. The third algorithm, we have seen bubble sort and selection sort along with examples, algorithms and their codes in the previous five videos. So if you want to watch them first, you can refer to those videos. Um, now in this video, we will start with the insertion sort algorithm. So insertion sort again, like bubble sort and selection sort, it will divide your current unsorted list into two parts, the sorted part, which is called the sorted list and the unsorted part. But how you sort the elements is difficult, is different from the previous two uh, techniques. So every sorting algorithm is actually doing the same task, but it is doing it differently. Okay. So the output you get from each algorithm, each sorting algorithm, whether it's bubble selection or insertion sort, you will, the output will be the same for any sorted, unsorted list, but how internally it is doing the sorted that will vary. Okay. So now insertion sort, what it assumes in the very beginning, it assumes that the first element of the uh, list that is given to us, the first element is sorted. Okay. Now we will pick the second element and then we will check every element from the sorted part and we will traverse the sorted part of the list from back to the front. And every time we will check whether the uh, element that we want to now sort is greater than or less than the element that we are comparing it with in the sorted part of the list. So we basically try to find out the correct position of the unsorted element in the sorted part of the list. Okay, so let's see how we do that. We consider each element from the unsorted list one by one. We pick it one by one and uh, we insert that uh, element into its correct position in the sorted list. Okay, so in the very beginning of insertion sort, the sorted part will contain one element and that will be the first element present at index zero. So in the first pass, you will pick element at index one and you will compare it with the element in the sorted part. Now, the only element present in the sorted part when it is compared, either it will be greater than, equal to or less than the element that we are comparing from the unsorted part. And depending on that, their position will be adjusted and the sorted list will increase by one length. Okay, so in each pass, the sorted list is traversed. That means all its elements are checked from right to left. That means in the reverse order and why they are checked to find the correct position for inserting the unsorted element that we have just picked up from the unsorted part of the list. Okay. So let us take an example and understand we are considering the same example of the unsorted list that we considered in the previous videos also. So we have elements 8, 7, 13, 1, minus 9 and 4. For the element for insertion sort in the first step, we consider that the element at index zero is sorted. So the sorted list contains one element and that is eight. Now what we will do, we'll take up one element from the unsorted list, the element that is present at the very front of the unsorted list. Okay. So this entire part is unsorted. So we pick the first element, which is seven. And then we keep comparing this value seven with all the elements that are present in the sorted part. So here sorted part contains only one element. So we compare seven and eight and we find that seven is less than eight. So we place seven at its correct position. Now that correct position is before eight. So this now becomes the sorted list it contains two elements seven and eight then we'll pick the next element the first element of the unsorted part which is 13 and now we'll compare it with the elements present in the sorted part and this comparison will be done back to four that means from right to left okay so 13 will be first compared with eight 
since 13 is already greater than 8, that means 13 is greater than all the elements present before 8 because this is the sorted list. Therefore, we do not make any further comparisons and we simply extend this sorted list and the new sorted list now, the new sorted part now becomes uh, consisting of three elements which are 7, 8 and 13. Okay. Now, this is an interesting uh, pass in which we now have to adjust 1. 1 is the first element of the unsorted part of this list. So, we compare 1 with all with the elements present in the sorted part one by one. First, 1 is compared with 13. Since 1 is smaller than 13, so 13 is shifted one position back. That means 13 now comes in the position of 1. Then we compare 1 and 8. Again, 1 is smaller than 8. So, it pushes 8 one step behind. That means it pushes 8 at the next location where it was currently present. Okay. So, now 8 is present at location number, index number 2. Then we compare 1 with the first element itself which is 7. Again, 1 is smaller than 7. So, it pushes 7 behind it and it is finally placed at index value 0. So, we keep on comparing the unsorted element as long as we find the first element in the sorted part that is already smaller than this unsorted element. Okay. So, if um, if the if the comparison keeps going on, we will go ahead and compare this unsorted element with all the elements present in the sorted part. Now, the next element that we have to place at the correct position is minus 9. So, again, let's see. Minus 9 is first compared with 13, which is the last element of the sorted part. And 13 is shifted one position back. Then minus 9 is compared with 8. 8 is again uh, greater than minus 9. So, 8 is also shifted one position back. Similarly, 7 is also greater. Therefore, it is also shifted one position back and when you compare it with 1, minus 9 is again smaller than 1, 1 is greater. So, it is shifted one position back and minus 9 is placed at the very first location. So, this becomes the sorted part and now since n minus 1 elements, that means out of 6 elements that were present in this list, uh, uh, 5 have been sorted, only 1 element have been has been remaining. But here, you cannot directly stop. You have to uh, place this last element at its correct location by fo following the same steps. So, 4 is first compared with 13. It pushes 13 at the back. Then 4 is compared with 8. 8 is again greater. So, 8 is shifted one position back. That means it's, it is copied to the next position immediately adjacent position where it was earlier present. Then 4 is compared with 7 and that changes location of 7. Now 4 is compared with 1. But here 4 is greater than 1 and we have found the first element which is smaller than 4 in the sorted part. So we stop here, we position 4 at this location and our list has become sorted completely using insertion sort. So, this was about the theory portion of insertion sort and an example. In the next video, I will explain to you the algorithm and the implementation of insertion sort in Python. So, if you understood this video, if this video helped it helped you in any way, please let us know in the comment section, like this video, share this video and also let us know if you want to study any particular subject or topic from computer science. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.